Over the years, I've heard many stories and seen many mothers, and I'd like to share some of those scenarios with you now. Tongue tie can cause a slow decline in growth in spite of the overwhelming efforts for the mother to maintain the baby's health. This baby is five months old and has fallen off his growth curve, even with mother's extraordinary commitment. He was born at eight pounds, that's the 50th percentile, and he is now below the 25th percentile. This asymmetric growth is often a helpful guide to what the baby's internal growth requirement is. Now listen to the mother's story to understand the impact of tongue tie on her baby's growth. We've been having some problems in the last two months. He's been waking up, I'd say, every 30 minutes to an hour and a half um, wanting to eat and doesn't seem to stay on my breast for very long. Um, he seems to get tired, really worn out, and sort of give up after, after I'd say, five to seven minutes. That's his that's his maximum time. Um, after that, he actually usually just falls right asleep. He was given the bottle um, of formula and was able to drink it probably because he was getting a lot more, a lot more flow that way because it was a lot easier for him to drink out of. But um, yeah, it, it's been it's been taking him off the growth curve now because. He went from being in the 50th percentile down to the, um, I think, down 10%, 20, 20, 20, 25th. 25th percentile. Mm -hmm. And he's very tall, so it's, uh, it's, not, it's not equal to his height anymore. Um, I'm just a little frustrated because in the hospital they said that he had a little bit of one, but they also said that it wouldn't, it wasn't, a, you know, a relevant enough tongue tie, I guess I would say, yeah. for them to do anything about it. So I'm a little bit disappointed because I think in these last few months he could have had more milk and I think maybe my supply would have went down a little bit in the last few months because he hasn't been able to take what he could have been getting. Yeah. The lack of sleep has <laughs> really done me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I feel bad for him, you know. I've always wondered why he wasn't getting chubbier. <laughs> yeah. A posterior tongue tie release was done, with mum supporting the baby with her hands and with her voice. After a week, there were some changes. So you about a week ago, we yes. stayed, and yeah. how have things yeah. been since then? Um, I, the first thing I've noticed is he's just so much happier. He's not as fussy yeah. anymore, and he's, um, he just seems like he's fulfilled, and he's nourished now. Right. And then yeah. he's happier, he wants to play, whereas before he just seemed really upset and tired all the time. So Yes. Yeah. How do you feel about what he's taking in? Oh, I feel like he's taking a lot more in. I can hear big gulps now, whereas yeah. before I would just, you know, I would see that he was really, really struggling to get any milk down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. And, um, yeah, overall he's gained 10 ounces in one week. That's yes. amazing. Yes. Yeah. And at five months of age, that's yeah. a very good yeah. thing. And yeah. he seems like he wants to eat more rather than be tired because he was getting really tired all the time. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. Five weeks after that, the baby had gained three pounds with no supplementation, a big makeup weight at five months, and he reached his 50th percentile. Things have changed. He's gained three pounds, which is the most exciting. He gained it very, very quickly. So I know that there was definitely a need. Um, and the biggest, biggest improvement was because he was able to latch on and stay on and eat for a much longer period without getting so tired. Right. Yeah. And why was he so tired and ha having a hard time latching on before? I think it was just such hard work for him to, yeah. to latch on and stay on mm -hmm. because of his tongue tie. 
and now that he's able, he just he wants to eat constantly. Oh. He has some making up to do. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, great. Good. He's so chubby here now. Yeah, he's got a nice belly. Oh. <laughs> You've got a belly there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and whether we, so just a. Uh, Tell me what the procedure and, and yeah. how it was for you and for him to have that procedure. It was pretty harmless. I was kind of worried because we just did it so quickly and, you know, I, I wasn't expecting to have it done that day. Um, but he, I didn't have to do anything for him extra. I didn't even have to give him any Tylenol. He was happy and he just ate for the rest of the day and he got better at it. It took him about a week to adjust to eating yes. with his new new ability <laughs> but after that he just soared yeah mm -hmm. he just kept eating and he was happy oh great yeah great. and he's able to sleep now too which is a huge difference for the both of us that's a really really big part he he's not up every half half hour to 45 minutes anymore he sleeps for a good chunk of time before he wakes up <laughs> so you get some respite and some rest yes. yourself. Yes, so. that is a yes. big difference for the both of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> want to play with that? Yeah, my family and friends were the ones who pointed it out. I think I was just too tired at that point <laughs> oh, after yes. the changes. But they had pointed out, they said, wow, Zeta's just come to life. You know, wow. because he just seemed so quiet and sad for so long. And yeah. then all of a sudden he was smiling and playing, yeah. and his cheeks were red, and it just it was a really big difference. And he started to sleep a little bit more, a little bit at a time. Yeah, yeah, it was a big change. Oh, yeah. that's, that's yeah. just great. I don't want other women to have to deal with that for such a small thing that can be fixed so easily and so early if possible. Yes. To not have to deal with that. Yes. Because it took us a few months to recover, really. Yeah, to um, get his growth going again. To get his growth going and get his, yeah. you know, to get his weight back on and to get his development. Yeah. You know. And what about your supply? How, what had happened with that? Oh, my supply was, <laughs> my supply was terrible because, um, because he wasn't able to get anything out of it for so long that I had to start taking the medication and to start increase it and I started menstruating again. Oh, yeah. you know, how long were you menstruating? I did for two months yes. and then it stopped. The moment his tongue tie was snipped, I didn't menstruate again after that and I still haven't. Yeah. And it's almost been a year, or so. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So my whole body changed. His body was changing. Yes. And it took a toll on both of us. Yes. Yeah, it really yes. did. Yes. And I just, I can't believe that anybody would, you know, decide not to snip the tongue tie. Yes. And create so many problems. Yes. It was so unnecessary. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.